MMA Plus here at Shock and Awe 14 with the winner, James Morris. Jack, an exciting fight. What are your thoughts on it? Um, it was as tough a fight than what I thought, to be honest. Um, his stand up was good. His, his, you know, his striking was hard. You know, um, He rocked me a couple of times, I'm not going to lie. The, the head kick, that proper dazed me. I didn't know where I was, to be honest. I just carried on swinging. Um, but yeah, the other thing is, uh, you know, it's, it's my fault totally. I decided to do the weight cut down to featherweight. Um, I think it was too much for me, to be honest, and it's taken out of me fitness-wise. So when I fight again, I'm going to fight lightweight. Um, that was my concern in there. Was uh, I felt like I didn't have the same strength as I normally do. Like normally, I'd commit to the takedown, but then I felt like I was just being lazy. Um, but I still came off the win, so I'm happy. You said you're a rock ball at head kick. That was fairly early on. You took some more shots after that. How did you feel <laughs> going through? Yeah, no. Uh, Again, those punches were hard again, um, but quite tough to take down, you know. Um, I'll, you know, I'll just come forward. If, if I've been on rocks, I won't go back. I'll go, just go forward. If the worst thing could happen, I'm going to get knocked out even more, you know. So, but, and it came off on top again. Um, yeah, yeah. Looked to be a bit of a considerable size difference in there with you obviously coming down from lightweight. Did you feel that at all? Yeah, I did, yeah. Definitely, I would cut, for this fight, I cut 10 kilos in 24 hours. Uh, and had to put it back on. I've got a bad dodgy stomach now, actually, funny enough. I've been burping and farting all, all day, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, so this weight cut has really messed me up, I think. I don't, and I'm not going to do it again. Did you feel stronger in there, being the bigger man? No, no, to be honest. I, he was quite strong. He was actually really strong. Um, yeah, no, he was a strong bloke. Yeah, he, he underestimated, I underestimated him on, on strength as well. Like, my game plan was to at worst, take him down, and his defence was awesome. I couldn't take him down, well, I eventually did, but, yeah, but it was difficult. Good night for Jim O1 so far overall. Yeah. What's your predictions for Pennington in the main event? Pennington, easy, easy. Pennington is um, a top fighter, man. He, I mean, he's going to go a long way if he carries on. Um, I mean, he's definitely, I, I personally think he's, he's one of the best bantams, you know. Um, yeah, I'll see you. You're going to see him in the UFC, no doubt, no doubt. Thanks a lot. Congratulations again. This is MMA Plus at Shock and All 14. Thank you.